Recently, President Cyril Ramaphosa launched the Youth Employment Service, or YES, campaign in an attempt to create 330,000 jobs for unemployed youth. The initiative takes the form of a partnership between the government, business, labor, and civil society. Ortes A. Johannesburg, as one of the partners of the YES campaign, recently trained and placed interns in various businesses. The YES campaign is aligned to Ort's vision and mission, which is educating for life, making people employable. And we were very lucky to partner with Investec, whose vision with the YES campaign and the partnership with the YES campaign started from, you know, from the beginning. And um, working with Investec, we have managed to recruit 200 unemployed youth and place them in schools and in small businesses as administrative support for one year. 80% of um, the participants on the YES initiative are uh, beneficiaries that participated either in one of our IT essential courses or our business enterprise training programs um, since 2015. And so we have given them the opportunity first uh, to participate on the YES initiative, uh, knowing that they have some sort of background and we know the learners uh, a, a little bit on a personal level to place them within the school or a business. The entire process for the YES initiative is that candidates need to be unemployed for at least six months. They need to be between the age brackets of 18 and 34. Uh, they need to be uh, and undergo a criminal check. And once they, they uh, get our criminal clear, uh, we will screen their CVs and they would go undergo the interview. And then once they're placed within the business, we will monitor and they have to call them through for training. The initial training, the most important part is really work readiness. You know, many of them have not been in the workplace before, so understanding work ethos, understanding very fundamental things about being in the workplace. Stick to your time, you know, HR issues that, you know, we may take for granted, but they have no idea about, and we then make sure that we at least bridge that gap. The training that we had with Ort, we learned uh, work skills, how to budget money, um, being a team player, yeah, like a lot of things that are work related. Some of the things I thought I knew, I didn't knew, I didn't know uh, thoroughly. And uh, what I could say about it, it was uh, it was informative to say how should I, to say how I should carry myself in a workplace and, and stuff like that. How should I interact with other people? How I should. Uh, manage my, 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 my income because there was a point where we were taught about a budget and, and how to manage our money, saving and yeah. In the work, work environment currently, there's um, a lot of uh, companies will only employ youth when they do have workplace experience. So this definitely is going to add on to their skills. Uh, for example, youth might have a, uh, a qualification or a degree, but they don't have any workplace experience, so it makes it really difficult for them to get into the job space. Managing uh, interns and managing placement of interns in businesses is not easy. We are doing it for the first time, so we're learning as we go along. We have had some challenges, but all the challenges we managed to find a solution. Working amicably uh, with the students, the interns, that is, and the businesses. The stipend uh, is paid from the corporate partner that, uh, that, that's a part of the uh, YES initiative. Uh, it's paid into their account every month. It's uh, 3,500 rand which they get paid. They can use that to travel and they have a little bit left over. We had a, a deficit um, uh, in terms of um, employees here at school. So um, we spoke to Sarufi from ORT and she gave us six interns and we dispatched them um, in different departments. Because here at school we've got um, arts, dance, drama, music, and we've got a hostel. So um, when we got their CVs um, from ORT, we looked at them and then we placed them according to their skills and according to what they wrote in terms of their aspirations. Here I do quite a few things 
uh, I do administration, I help out with events, I take school kids to events, I've been to a school expo, I help out at the reception as well. Yeah, so like I do so many things. The Yes campaign really brings an opportunity for the entities, the government, the corporate world and the, and the NGOs to work together towards defeating unemployment. But it's also bringing in the shared responsibilities, the capabilities of each institution, so we don't work in silos. And I think this is an example of this made, this is really made possible through this proactive approach. We know what we want to achieve and we all have the same objectives. And I think this is the secret about working in partnership, that we're working towards the same targets and objectives. Fortunately, we do have um, existing relationships within the schools uh, in Gauteng, as well as small businesses which we have trained over the last few years. Um, so we have identified the businesses and we've, uh, we've uh, done an interview uh, process with the candidates that were placed within the business and school before. When I attended the training at the ORT, they, 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 you know, when they checked my profile, they probably liked it and I was quite involved as well, you know, during the, the course. And um, Mr. Bugari actually came to me and said, look, there is this um, campaign that we are busy, you know, trying to... We have interns that we want you to maybe accommodate in your business so that we can give them experience and so forth. In the small businesses, you know, sometimes there are, these are people, a one-man show that has to do everything. And having an admin support, which is your backbone of your business, is of a huge, huge help. And he came at the right time because I really, really needed somebody who can come and look at my books, you know, and do some bit of admin because it was quite hectic for me. You know, as an interpreter, you do everything. So I would do, I could do with the hand. admin and The intern, I must say, she's handy. You know, and uh, she's really, really helping a lot, you know. Not only with admin, but she, she's eager to learn more, you know, about the whole business. The Yes campaign is just one of the solutions of South Africa especially for the youth who are unemployed. Because what it does is that it gives the youth some workplace experience. And if the youth perform to the satisfaction of the businesses, then the businesses will be able to take them on board at the expiration of the contract. Fortunately, we have some indication from some businesses who are actually willing to take the, our interns on permanent basis once the contract expires and other businesses are actually giving them more money over and above the stipend which they receive from our corporate partner. People are benefiting. You know, the beneficiaries that, that are on the program currently are so grateful. You know, we've already got, we've been on, involved in the program since September. We've already got, um, you know, posts on Facebook and uh, people, uh, you know, beneficiaries writing us letters to say, thank you so much for the opportunity. We're so happy here. We're learning a lot. Uh, we never thought that the work environment would be like this. There are Haaretz many times, and, and coming from the Jewish perspective, you know, in the Jewish perspective, you know, if you touch one person, you touch a whole world. And I feel so privileged to be able to touch hundreds of people's lives. And it starts with one person, and we love to hear the personal stories. And for us to know that Ort, that started as, as that is a Jewish organization in its root, 1880, started by the same objectives, to make people employable through vocation and artisanship. And here we are, 140 years later, doing the same thing and impacting the community the way we are.